Hello and welcome. My name's Andrew, and uh, today we get Substance Painter 2018.1. This is the first major release for this year from the guys at Allegrithmic, and um, yeah, there's been some sort of big improvements with 4K paint performance and obviously a new GUI, um, which seems pretty good. Um, so I'm just going to quickly cover a few of those things today and just give you guys a, a quick look at the update. And I, I'd recommend that you guys uh, go and update yourself so you can have a play with it. Um, it's available now, so I'm um, head on over you should when you open substance painter you'll get a, a ping saying to update anyway so um yeah let's let's dive into it so i've got i've got an old project um and it shows you this warning um if i was to save this project now i wouldn't be able to open it up in an older version that's pretty pretty standard with any software um Cool, so this is the digital Emily model from uh, WikiHuman and uh, basically all I was doing in this project was painting some uh, roughness maps for the skin uh, for some test rendering I was doing. Uh, yeah, so we can see the load bar isn't red anymore, it's like that sort of aquary color which is cool. Um, I have shadows enabled in this project. Let's just quickly turn that off. So there's these sort of side pop-out panels here, um, which is sort of a bit similar to Mari 4's pop-out panels, but this is only for like your like project settings. So you, these are things that you'd only open up like a couple of times during your session. Um, so like things like shadows and if you want to change your environment you've got camera settings and your LUT and that sort of thing they like these sort of things you you set up once and then you sort of you're done with them um, like shader settings things like that so so that's cool um, like the standard layout this menu is on this side and there's this whole strip of unused space which is a little bit weird um, but I sort of get it like they wanted to keep these things over here with the the tool panels and stuff but you can actually grab this guy and move it so I'd suggest grabbing it and moving it over there and then you're sort of maximizing all your real estate over here so um so yeah so that's cool so we've still got our standard view of things we've got 2d and 3d view that's nice and nice and responsive um, 2D only, um, oops. Uh, perspective and orthographic lives up here. You can see that's perspective view, orthographic view, and um, free rotation and constrained rotation. So that's nice. That, like having them grouped together makes total sense. Uh, this menu is pretty cool. Where um, now it, it's it's quite clear to see what's happening. And um, you can see through here, like you can actually just select the channel that you want to look at rather than cycling through with the hotkey like before. Like you couldn't just quickly jump to like the normals and then back to your, like you'd have to sort of select it first. You'd have to cycle through and find it. So if I was looking at say like my combined uh, normals, for example, and I went back and then I was, oh, I just want to look at the roughness now. Um, you can just jump straight to it. So so that's pretty cool. So that, that's a really nice um, new feature. Um, what else? The, the overall sort of GUI performance is, is pretty good. Like it, it's definitely improved over before. You can see how sort of quick everything is. Like it can pull things off like that. And that's that's pretty cool. My only sort of thing at the moment would be like, it would be awesome if you could group these menus together rather than only being able to group them in the side panel here. Um, if you run two monitors, you would probably have a layout, something, you know, like, like this on your second monitor. And it'd be awesome to group all them together rather than having to manually line them up and, and that sort of thing. That gets a bit tedious after a while. Um, especially if you run videos like this where you're trying to show stuff and you need everything on one monitor you constantly have to reset and um, rebuild that layout so 
maybe something for next time guys if you're if you're watching this um, that would be nice to have um, so let's try some 4k performance um, so I've got my texture set is set to 4k I'm just gonna drag a smart material on so we'll let this cache up Um, it almost looks sort of like Photoshop with the layers now and the colors and these menus and um, not that that's a bad thing or anything like less clutter is good if any of you guys have coming over from Mari um, this is just awesome because Mari is so cluttered even in the new version it's so cluttered um, so I think the guys at Allegrithmic have done a, a great job on just keeping it clean and focusing on the work rather than which menu you're in it's, it's cool so all right so let's try this yep that's much better much much better so um i've got a uh, gtx 970 it's a fairly old card um I'm waiting for the new cards to be released before I update um, to the next generation stuff but working at 4k was almost impossible um, like even just doing this like every stroke it would sit there in cache for a little bit and it was it was just impossible I had to like sort of work at 2k and then export it 4k hoping it would do the the right thing but um, yeah this is this is loads better um, yeah miles faster so that's really cool that's really good um yeah i mean that that's sort of that's sort of most of it we've got um our brush settings now have moved up here which is which is nice like you can sort of keep all this stuff tucked away you've only got what's important um that's visible um and if you full screen these stay there which is just awesome because it means like you can hide all that stuff off just focus on what's important which is painting um and yeah no no clutter and nice and fast it's yeah it's really really awesome um the the only sort of bug that i've come across so far in this version is that um in the viewport my wacom buttons are flipped where this is normally middle click and this is normally right click but they're flipped for some reason now this isn't the case in these menus where if i right click i still get a right click menu but if i right click in here i get what should be middle click so i'm not sure what's going on with that i'll um i'll get in touch with the guys and let them know and um could just be a, a, a hot fix that comes out like 2018 1.1 or something but um be interesting to see if you guys are having that as well so um yeah so i'll leave it there for now it's a really quick overview but i just want to show you guys um yeah the latest version um go and go and grab it if you haven't already and um yeah i'll see you in the next one